Welcome to the uh, quick guide to jungling. This is a very short introduction for what jungling is. The reason why I've created this video is because I was unable to find helpful videos for beginners on how to jungle. So as a jung jungler, one of the first things you have to remember is you're not laning to gain experience or CS. You're doing these monster camps. And you're going to always start off on your side of the jungle. And as you continue to complete monster camps, you're going to gain experience and increase your abilities. Jungling is something that does take a while to understand. So if you're new to jungling, don't be disheartened if you don't understand it right away. But you do want to try to clear your camps at the start. And effectively as a jungler, what you want to do is you want to try to help your teammates. You want to help them lane, you want to keep them safe, and you want to help them push. And of course, you want to help them get kills or get kills yourself. Jungling requires time management. It requires a lot of map awareness, and it does require understanding the abilities of other champions that includes your teammates and also the enemy teammates this will help you understand how to create your build for your specific jungler now as this is a quick guide it's meant to be an easy guide so a lot of the abilities that you want to get are items or things that i'll discuss in a different video right now it's more about you feeling comfortable in beginning to jungle Jungling requires also that you frequently attempt to gank. And gank is basically where you'll see here, you're coming up into your friend's lane and you're just stepping in and you're trying to see if you can attack the enemy champion with surprise, or if not, just helping your champion here in the lane so that he doesn't get demolished in terms of lanes. Now, there's a lot of people that think a jungler should just be getting a lot of kills. That is not the case. If you're a jungler and your teammates are getting lots of kills and it's because you stepped in and you helped out, then you're doing your job as a jungler. Continue to roam around the map as a jungler you can go through the river, but always be careful because the enemy jungler could be looking for you as well. And the larger bosses, such as the Drake and the Baron or the Rift Herald, are bosses that you should be very careful in doing on your own. In most situations, it's better to try and get some assistance. And you'll see in this lane here, I simply popped in and left in the hopes that perhaps the enemy champions that are attacking the bottom tower might leave, or at least until my team arrives. And the same situation here, just coming into the lane, helping out, and trying to take towers with your friends if you can. And as a jungler, you also want to be careful that the enemy jungler is not attacking your team and also that the enemy jungler is not stealing your jungle. If the enemy jungler is stealing your jungle, then they're going to increase in XP. So if you're trying out jungling, remember, be patient. Try to do as much research as possible. Try the training modes in League of Legends because practice makes perfect. And also remember to pick a champion that is suitable for jungling. All champions are not suitable for jungling. Typically, jungling champions should be those that can get in and out of a situation quickly, that have pretty good crowd control, that have pretty good mobility, and are effectively able to do some damage. If you like the video, I hope you subscribe. I'll definitely bring you more quick guides for beginners to League of Legends.